Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. Here I will show you why you are never too old to be a lawyer. Before I begin the video proper, thank you for visiting my channel. To introduce myself, I am Dean Rod Vera. I am a lawyer, a law school professor, and Dean of the College of Law for the University of Klokan City. If you find this video interesting, please like and share. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. Statistics show that will give you five years of good luck and two years of better luck. The video begins now. Welcome back. You think you want to be a lawyer? You are never too old. At the University of Klokan City, I interview each and every applicant that wants to apply to the law school. And for me, one is never too old to start to go to law school. Aside from age, I think there are two other factors which some people use as an excuse not to enter law school. That is being married and working. Here, I will show you why those three factors, age, being married, and working, should not stop you to be a lawyer. The first reason, age. I think age is just a number. And remember, it's just one letter from a party. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, wait, the phone is ringing. Let me answer. Hello? Oh, hi, son. What? You want me to stop? Okay. Wait. It's not rage, it's rave. Oh, all right, thank you. That's my son. He says I'm too old to be in a rage party. But one is never too old to go to law school. Of the many people who apply to enter the law school of the University of Klokan City, after passing the Enders exam, I interview each and every one of them. What I look for in the applicants is the ability, the strength, the ambition, the courage to stay in law school. I tell them it's a five-year commitment, four years of law school, one year of bar study, and three years of crying. When I was studying at the University of San Francisco, I met a 55-year-old man. We conversed. Then I found out he just passed the California bar. I asked him what was his background. He was a practical senior citizen. He had a PhD in chemistry and thought he wanted to be a lawyer. He entered law school at 50 and it never stopped him. As for me, I entered law school when I was 29 years old, seven years out of college. The normal standard procedure for a law student is to enter law school right after college. They may be 22 to 23 years old, and they could be a lawyer by age 28. At the University of Colocan City, the age range of the students range from the early 20s, the 30s, and even the 40s. In my pioneer batch in 2017, I accepted a 65-year-old student, and he passed all the major subjects in the first semester persons, criminal law, and constitutional law. I admired his courage. His age did not stop him, and neither should you. If one enters law school at a mature age, I think that is an advantage. One, when they study persons and they study maybe criminal or constitutional law, I believe because of what they've experienced that will help them relate and understand the law better. The second excuse why people don't want to enter law school is being married. Again, as for me, I entered law school when I was 29, I was married, and had a two-year-old son. I believe that being married while in law school is actually an advantage. First, you get a better support system at home. Your family is gonna be forced to support you. And honestly, I know families, spouses, children, they are the best sources of inspiration to continue on in law school and to survive the rigors of law school. Again, I think being married gives an advantage in certain subjects. One of the first subjects in the first semester in freshman year is persons and family law. In being married, a law student will better understand the articles in the family code. Another excuse not to enter law school is working or having a job, or maybe even having a business. I feel those who are working or having a business will have a more efficient time management system. Those who are working will better understand, they will better appreciate, 
and better schedule their time for studying, going to school, for working, and for their business. When working students take up law, I believe they will have a better understanding on certain aspects of law or certain law subjects, and it will be better for them as they will know how the law applies to them, such as persons family law, labor, and even taxation. And I know from experience in interviewing law students, uh, those who are working seek law as a source or a, to fast track their career growth. Certain government services promote on the spot those who pass the bar. To further inspire you, if you are working of a matured age and being married, I will give you certain examples of how people of those statuses have topped the bar. In 2012, Rodolfo Aquino, at age 64, placed 10th in the bar examination. He has two PhDs and several master's degree in business, statistics, and accounting. According to him, if you can still argue, you can write, and you can read, you can be a lawyer. In 2017, a working mother named Krisa Bagni got 8th place in the bar examination. In the daytime, she was teaching accounting. And then in the afternoon, she'd go to law school, and in the evening, she took care of her child as she was a single mother. Despite all that, she still placed eighth in the bar examination. In 2019, a working student named Kenneth Manuel placed sixth in the bar examination. He went to the University of Santo Tomas, who very rarely accept working students. He was a CPA, he'd work during the day, and go to law school in the afternoons and on the weekends. The best example why you are never too old to be a lawyer. In 1999, a 28-year-old working mother studying at the Baguio College's foundation topped the bar. She garnered first place with a rating of 91%. After topping the bar, she got her master's in the United States. She worked for the government. In March 2019, Ms. Abuel became acting secretary for the Department of Budget and Management. To conclude, there is no excuse to prevent you from entering law school. Everyone should be allowed to pursue their childhood dream to become a lawyer. Even if you are at an age where you are childlike, still, you can go to law school and make it as a lawyer. I wish you the best of luck. Please enjoy my other videos here, and hopefully they will inspire you to become a lawyer. Lastly, remember, it's not what you know, it's what they don't know. Goodbye.